Marching for peace as more police are patrolling the streets now, but tonight some are questioning just how to achieve that goal after five suspected gang members are now behind bars. Thanks for being with us at 10. I'm Ty Steele. And I'm Ali Wolf. Nikki Lorenzo has the night off. This week, five men were arrested near MLK and 12th Avenue. Police seized four firearms, including two assault rifles. Now this is the area we're talking about. These arrests are part of a larger effort to make the Oak Park neighborhood safer. Sacramento police beefing up patrols in this part of town, which has seen an increase in violence in recent months. Fox 40's Doug Johnson has been following this story for us. He joins us live tonight, Doug. Some are now questioning whether or not these arrests really curb the violence. That's right, Ty. Uh, the Sacramento Police Department says that they know they prevented violence by getting these guns off the streets, but at least one community activist tells us that may not necessarily be the case. A tranquil scene in Oak Park tonight as dozens go door to door as part of a peace walk. However, Wednesday, officers with Sacramento Police's South Gang Enforcement Team witnessed a scene at 12th MLK, which could have turned violent. They observed a vehicle um, parked where a subject exited that vehicle and it was carrying what appeared to be an assault rifle. Officers surrounded the car and home it was parked next to, later arresting the men who were inside after finding two assault rifles, two handguns and ammo. 18-year-old David Clemens, 21-year-old Alan Bell, 22-year-old Daryl Gray, 19-year-old Devon Owens, and 19-year-old Romani McKnight were all taken into custody on firearm charges. When I say I'm in handcuffs, I, it was, I was disappointed. Community oh, activist Barry Axius tells us he was at the arrest scene Wednesday, heading there after police because he knows one of the suspects. I mean, good kid. Like, I've seen him, sports athlete. You know, sometimes you make those decisions. While police believe they prevented violence with this arrest, these types of weapons are not only illegal, but um, tremendously dangerous to the community, to officers, to whoever is approaching these people. Axius tells us he isn't so sure. These kids can make bail. And just because they don't have these guns, you don't think they're going to have access to, to other guns? He says often the youth he works with want guns for protection. I've talked to them. If I don't have a gun going to this party, I may not make it because that person I know has a gun. That's why Axius believes gang raids like this one don't address the bigger problems. He says more opportunities for young people in Oak Park and elsewhere, like through his programs Don't Shoot Down Our Youth, is key to ending the violence. Why is it that a young person can get a gun quicker than get a job? That, that has to be kind of like one of the stigmas of what we're kind of positioning ourselves to make sure we change. Meanwhile, Oak Park residents we spoke with are glad police have stepped up enforcement, but they believe these gang members are only a small percentage of their community. I think Oak Park is actually a great community and I think the people of Oak Park are great people. Yeah, in the past few weeks there have been at least three shootings in Oak Park and a lot of people that live there have told us they're sick of the violence. Reporting live in South Sacramento tonight, Doug Johnson, Fox 40 News. A lot of cause for concern. Doug, thanks so much. All right.